Come on. There you go. Pull with me. There you go. Come on. You might be able to back out in a second. Had trouble starting the truck this morning. Oh man, it was a bitch. Had to have my brother come, the batteries died, all that shit. It just did not want to start this morning. It was 10 degrees under all night. Uh, it's warming up a little bit now, probably about 11, 12 degrees. I had a call at seven o'clock in the morning off of Google for a winch out right down the road, about eight minutes down the road here. They've literally been waiting on me for two fucking hours now. I told them to have a complication on another job. Didn't want to tell them my truck's fucking up, but Literally, I couldn't get this bitch fucking started this morning. I don't know what the hell's going on with this damn thing. It's my fault I don't plug it in, but it is what it is. Truck's just about warmed up, so I'm gonna head up out of here, go up there. He's been waiting long enough, so hopefully we can get him the fuck out. You know, recoveries are something I'm really not that good at, but I want to be great at it. I love doing it. Although we don't get as much snow as some areas and some states and stuff, I love doing it, even if somebody's just in a field when there's not snow or ran off the road or this and that or stuck in a driveway or anything. Like, I, I love doing it, even though I don't do them that much. But when I do do them, I feel the excitement. I feel the rush, and I want to get better at it. And I really, I'm really just not that equipped right now to even be doing any of these recoveries. But it is what it is. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll knock it out, we'll get it done, and go about it. I mean, it's something I haven't practiced a lot at, but once I get the lot and everything, I will practice more. Once I get another truck, this truck will pull some stuff out. I'll pull rams out, everything. And uh, technically, going into this job we're going into, I wasn't prepared at all. Stuck, huh? So yeah, it's right up there. The other guy's bringing the keys right now. Cool. All right. Let me see what you got here. Is it like inside the ditch right there? Yeah, it's like kind of like it's not bottomed out or anything. It's kind of like, but it's close to the bottom. But it looks like you can go forward or backward maybe. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. It's a tricky one. Yeah. Because if you pull from this way, I don't want that rear end to slide down. If you pull from the back, I don't want to go that way. Mm. Would it make sense if we could move that shit and pull it straight forward? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, we could try it. I mean, it's not, it's, 
bigger rocks down there, so they'd probably be able to catch on something if the tire just slides. Have you guys tried to pull it or anything from the front? I probably could get my lift right under there now. Yeah. Rock, you need like another cable to hold it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's probably just pull it that way, but I might be able to just come under, pick it up. Just real careful, real slow, maybe see what that does a little bit. So I might be able to just pull it right out, picking it up. Yeah, just putting the lift down, going under and just picking it up, pulling it out. So I could probably get my lift right under to pick up the front wheels. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I'm scared about. Yeah, wiggle a little bit. If I come right, maybe right here. If my lift would go under real quick. If not, maybe if I just hook the winch to it from here, kind of straight on as we can. Yeah, and just get a little bit slow. I think we'll try that one. It's just a little bit too much of an angle to get under there, probably. Um, I've got, I don't know if you're worried about it, like, sliding down. I've got another truck over there. I could, I don't know if you have toe straps, and if you want to, like, connect my truck to the back of this so it doesn't, you know what I mean? Um, just a thought, just a thought. Just throwing it out there. So, I don't know if you're... Yeah, let way. me, uh, I'm going to hook the winch, and we'll see if it starts sliding. If it starts okay. sliding, we'll do something like that. Yeah. Let me tighten up this cable, this case. What's that? Right now it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll park and break off. It's tricky. I don't want to come too much of an angle and flip. I think I'll be all right. That front tire is lost. Nah, I think that uh, right front tire being crooked like that is going to complicate a little bit. Yeah, you got a tricky one here.
This don't have four wheel drive at all. Why? This has got four wheel drive? Yeah. It does? I mean, I'm not, I don't think anyone should be sitting in that thing driving. So now I wouldn't say that. I was gonna say I could try to, cause if not, man, honestly, you might need a big wrecker out here, and that's that's gonna cost. But if it's got four wheel drive, I could put a little pressure. You could probably get at least those three wheels. You want me to pop in and try to bump it? I mean, I could do it, or you want to do it, or. I mean, do you want to do that? One I mean, I'm gonna do it as safe as possible. I'm not gonna do it fast or nothing. Right. If I ever see anything gone, then we'll right. we'll abort it right away. But I mean, if it's got four wheel drive, I would try and. Get it at the same time, maybe I'm pulling it. it. to see if the wheels will swivel down and straighten it yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, yes. Because it's not stuck like too bad. You got stuck on this tire right here. But I've already pulled it about a good eight inches right there from that. Right. But if those two can keep catching, probably be able to drive it right out of here. I'm just wondering if we move forward because, I mean, that back end is going to keep coming up the lower that gets. And then you got what top roll going to I need something to keep my winch cable low. Ah. Man, I'm trying, I'm trying to save you guys a bunch of money, man. I might rehook it from the side just to get away from the front being so lifted. Let's just see what she does. so that we can try to climb. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, if you want to try to climb, or I'll move real slow. Yeah, maybe if you turn it to the right, you might be able to catch a little bit. Right. Or actually, nah, I can't see up in here. Yeah, it's off a little bit. I think I try to turn yeah. it to climb. As yeah, well. yeah, yep. You want me to put it in drive? Yeah, you can put it in drive, four wheel, and uh, we'll go real slow. If it, if it goes any higher than what it is, I'll back off of it. If you want me to, I'll get in there. Somebody want to flick the switch? You want to work the remote? Yeah, you want to go for it. Can you put more weight on that side than the It could. Didn't look like that big of a ditch though from that uh, picture. That's what took me so long on the last job. Pictures never do justice. <laughs> I've been in worse situations though. Yeah, he's in four low. Four low? Yeah, just you know, all you need to do is creep it real slow. Good to go? Oh, oh, oh. I want to pull it from this way, though. If he got it like that, I want to come this way. Because even if the ASN slides down, I'm not really worried about that because it could slide and pull. I'll have the front, but. Can you go and reverse it all? 
Real slow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hold on. Little. Little. Keep going. Keep going. That's where we get stuck at. All right. Hey, guys. Hey. Good morning. I'm Ken Schrader. I'm the owner. How you doing, yeah, buddy? How you, doing? you don't think you should pull it backwards? <sighs> What's the reason you don't want to pull it backwards? That front end slide? That front end goes down. The only thing it might do, it might tear the bottom up, but you get the ass end up and it slides. I don't got nowhere to hook back there, though. It's the bottom. Oh. Now I can't get to none of them control arms. I at least got to get to a control arm or I could try. If I had my uh, either soft shackle or um, uh, I better put this cable. <clears throat> I ain't gonna say it in the flip. It's gonna pull forward. Under the thing, yeah, I've already tried that. Right That's here, yeah, down. I've already tried it. That's what I need, my uh my thing that I'll usually hook it down here and it's got a wheel, so it'll roll that way. I got a tractor and pull it. Pull it here like this. Yeah, if you got forks, you, yeah, you'd be able to pick it up. Yeah, there's, it's nothing to connect to. Yeah. Control arm, but by the time you do that, it'll probably lift the whole damn back end up like we did the front. I mean, if I could get it, I could probably hook to this tire, but there ain't nowhere to pull this way. Where'd that guy go, the owner? He leave? Oh, right there. He said if he had a tractor and chain, maybe we could hook it to the control arm just to keep tension back here. I could hook to that front tire from the side from an angle, and we could kind of both pull at the same time. That's kind of what you need, either that or something to pick you up and yeah, see if yeah, see if he has like a a chain and his tractor. I might have a couple chains on here. Got a hook right there, so if I, I need something to keep my winch low, though. Put a chain through that thing right there. Yeah, I was gonna say if you could probably hook, keep tension from this way. I got a hook right here. We kind of. You want you don't want to go that way. You want me? To no, no, here. no. I just want you to keep tension, tension on. Tension on it this yeah, way. And you yeah. Pull it around. Yeah. Back up. Yep. All right. Just so that don't swing that way, I can keep going this way. Cause when that goes this way and that goes that way, this goes up. He'd be able to ride over this, sir. Oh my God, he'd be able to get this thing. Thank mm -hmm. you.
that thing to stay low. <sighs> no, no, no. I don't want it to crack your uh, running board. I want to come around the wheel, but I don't want to wrap this my winch around it. Cause it'll really splay my wrench cable, but I might just go through here and say fuck the cable. Go through there or go right there? Like no, the tire. The tire. Tire always. Huh? Tire always. I just don't have my shackles in this truck, but. So what are you just worried it's going to apply too much pressure and crack that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I can hook it to this. It just splinters my cable bed. That's why I haven't done that, but it is what it is. Get you guys out real quick. We just pulled a tire. Uh -huh. Do you have a chain or anything you can put around that and then just hook that to the chain? Nah. They don't pay to do this. Like I'm doing, hook it right around there to that. That's but when it. the tire starts turning, it's going to either cut that tire. Yeah, but it might give enough. And if we both pull it easy, it's still easy. Get him, get him, get him I'd be comfortable with that tire. I mean, that's how they teach us in Wreckmaster class, I'm tires. Just, just Let's roll, guys. You just tell me when to pull. If you see me pulling out good, just keep pulling back with me. I'm sorry? If you see me pulling out, just keep pulling back with me. in there, man. Can you cut the wheel? <laughs> Can you try to cut the wheel just a little bit? This way, towards that. Driver's side. You think you sit in there and push the brakes for me? Sure. That thing's pulling my e-brake, everything up.
Come on. There you go. Pull with me. There you go. Come on. You might be able to back out in a second. You should be able to back out. I'm gonna get you just a little bit this way though. You should be good. Yeah, I didn't want to do that from the beginning because I didn't want to splice my wire, but it is what it is. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, see, it has splintered it out real bad when you don't use like the soft hooks, but you should be pretty good, buddy. Yeah, you got four wheel low on? You didn't break nothing, I don't think. Just turn your wheel straighter. I'd probably back out, yeah. Perfect. No more ditches. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, so much appreciated. Yeah, no problem, buddy. 150 bud. good? Nah, you're good, man. No, please, dude. Nah, I insist. Dude. No, no, I insist. Nah, you're all right, Please, man. please, you saved my life, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I wanted to do that from the beginning, but really didn't want to... You see how it, like, splices my wire all up, but... Was that your vehicle? No, it's my buddy's. Okay. I, 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 I oh, you got it stuck. I got it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry it took me so long, guys. did come up pretty hot at one time. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's been a while since I've been off road. <laughs> All right, boys, you guys good? Yes, sir. Did it, did it damage your equipment or anything like that? No, no, no. You good to go, man. You got here in a hurry and we appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Did you yeah, I, I told him he was good, but he insisted. That's who we have to check. We appreciate, appreciate you, it, brother. Yeah, All no right. problem, man. Take care, guys. Oh, man. See, I was iffy at first hooking that tire because I really didn't want to splice my uh, my cable and everything. But push come to shove, I just said, fuck it, started pulling from the tire just because. And I had the tractor put a little bit of tension on it and everything because I really didn't want to cost them a... Uh, a bigger bill or anything i probably didn't look too professional i mean I, I knew what i was talking about it's just i don't have the right equipment to really do recoveries on this truck which i did order everything but by the time they come pretty sure snow will be long and gone successful recovery i told them it was free because of the uh i just wanted to record the youtube video he uh gave me 150 dollars, so i wasn't expecting that i was coming out to totally do it free I told him I'd do it free. I, I was even two hours late, or an hour late, two hours since he called. But uh, yeah, we got him out successful with no damage or anything, and uh, very happy, you know? Another successful recovery in the books. Technically, the job we just got through, I wasn't prepared at all for that job. Not at all. Not at all, man. I didn't have no snatch blocks. I didn't have no uh, endless loops or anything, you know what I mean? I, I didn't have nothing, dude, you know? And, and it's it's not the smartest way to do things, uh, wrapping your winch cable around the tire, because it's not necessarily going to damage anything, but when it tightens up and this and that while you're pulling on it, it will start fraying your cable. And 
that's not something you want. You know what I mean? You want your cable to be straight as possible with less splints or anything. So wasn't ideal. That's why I didn't do it in the beginning. I mean, if you guys notice, I just got tired of it. The owner of the place came out there and he was like, well, why don't you do it this way or that way? Why don't you just pull it straight from the back? And I wish it was that easy, you know what I mean? But not everything is that easy as it looks. It's a lot more dangerous. It's a lot more complicated than just saying, hey, let me hook it from the rear and pull this bitch out. It doesn't work like that, man. Yeah, but I'm glad he had the tractor so I was able to put tension on the back and he could pull at the same time as I'm pulling. That way we ended up just pulling them straight backwards. Yeah, I splintered up my cable a little bit, but it is what it is, man. I got them out. And I told them I didn't want anything for it because I just wanted rights to record it, you know what I mean, and show you guys, you know what I mean? I'm new at this stuff too when it comes to recoveries. I'm not the best at it, but I will get it done. I'll put my mind to it, I'll get it done, but I want to be able to roll up on a job, look at it while I'm, before I'm even out of the truck, I can look at the situation and already know what I'm going to do from point A to B and C. So. I'm going to get better at it. I just need to do more of them. You know what I mean? I need more equipment and stuff like that, but I'm going to invest in it. So if you have any good ideas of what equipment or what kind of stuff I should use or what to get or what will make life easier, then just let me know down in the comments, guys. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you like more videos like this, I'll try to get more of them. We don't have much snow or anything like that. But I'll try to land more winching and more recoveries and more stuff like that. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for all your notifications, and holla at your boy. Thank you.